Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich. Well, let's just get into this. We're. I'm just letting the clock go, basically, guys. Um, sorry to sort of um, say I don't or feel fatalistic about it or what. Because other than just continue to work through the um, national focus tree and build up my industry. And I know I've, I got the suggestions of do naval invasions. Okay, yeah. Um, I get that. I really do. Um, but I don't see how it's going to be materially different. Um, well, okay. More resources. Because if I just stick an army here and try to move in, they're just going to do the same thing. Maybe it would disrupt things. But I'm barely holding the line here, so I just don't see having the forces to do so now. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's co costing convoys people. Okay, I am also a little upset with um, Kaiser Reich itself, because, like, this is a massive bug here. This province is now dead to us. Whatever um, would have been here for Poland is is gone. And that's entirely up to the Kaiser Reich people. Um, so they, they created that bug. It may be fixed in a newer version, but I am sick of restarting this thing. Um, so we're playing with whatever bugs we have. Um, or we're just ending this. Yeah, you can tell I'm a little upset. Sorry about that. But, um... So, um, I don't know why there is a single convoy to move from Austria to Germany. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, it is not something that I could see that should be there. This is coming from the Austrian Empire and not, I don't know, from China. Um, so, um, I say that this is another Kaiserreich bug. Maybe you can explain to me why it isn't. Um, so, um, you know, when you when you got something that's buggier than um, black ice, you're you're doing pretty bad on on the bug issues. So yeah, um, and I do take that as a bug. Um, well, we're nineteen forty. Well, let's see. Um, we're doing that. Don't want anything that's going to cost us more production costs. Nothing with more production costs, so... Not that we're really facing many tanks, but... Mm, new air tactic. Yeah, let's do that. And yes, we have more production. And I want to add more support elements because now that we have more army experience, um, that's another thing that um, I really think sucks with Kaiser Reich. And yes, I'm down on Kaiser Reich at the moment. No, no, I don't want to do this. Sorry. Um, is, I mean, I think it, it's a really cool concept. Don't get me wrong on that. Um, I think it's a really cool concept of um, what if Germany won and then what would the world look like and all that. That's cool. And I'm not down on that. I'm just down on this, this implementation, implementation of it. And it's so buggy. And so we have such terrible, um, uh, what do you call it? What's it? Okay. Why well, is it sending all, keeping all these units there? I'm sending them up here. Well, 
Um, okay, well, we'll take the divisions, I guess. Um, Lithuania needs to send them via convoy. Support equipment from Flanders Wallonia. Yeah, yeah, convoy from Flanders Wallonia. Huh. Sorry, sorry, people. I, uh, I really don't want to become the guy who is the angry um, gamer or something. the colonial upkeep. Now this is, see, this is, um, sitting here silent okay um i'm this is going to be a very short episode people um i want your advice what the hell am i going should i do now um because i've been informed and i um the person who all right and it's, it's absolutely no fault of anybody who's informing me of any of anything um that hey you should get the national focus to remove the colonial upkeep because that way you won't have to um have that um 15 percent more um consumer services okay oh well in the new version of Kaiserreich that's come out since starting this that version or that no longer exists so we can no longer remove it so I'm stuck with it should I start the hell over again people or um Okay, here, here's what I'm going to do. This is an announcement. I'm going to announce this thing. Um, and this I'm going to entirely throw back on you. This series, because I'm just too frustrated with, with um, cl this colonial upkeep, that I can't get rid of. That if I, I may be entirely wrong about this, and I'm sorry if I am, because this is not um, Hearts of Iron of any format that I am familiar with. This because I know this is an alternate reality, and I want to say this very, very clearly: if you're going to do an alternate reality, do it right, like these people have done. Okay, the people in Kaiserreich have done the alternate reality right. They've gone back and fully set up a world which is plausible. And has an alternate reality. What I dislike a lot is what the Hearts of Iron 4 dev team does. Is Oh, well, what if the communists were to take over Italy sometime post-1936? I would defy any one of you to put out any sort of plausible, realistic um, uh, situation in how there's a communist revolution. I'm not talking that the Soviet Union somehow invades and takes over Germany and then marches into Italy and they've um, spouted up some communist resistance cells and by the time they come in you know the you know by the time the the Soviets are marching across the Italian border after several Italian armies have been defeated that there isn't a communist revolt yes we can spin out a tale like that. I'm talking relative peacetime 1936 to 1940 that somehow there's a communist revolt in Italy so we get to play a communist Italy that to me is nuts okay um you know we we can talk about oh i don't know um some communist spurred revolt and you know we obviously we see spain and and you know france okay i could talk about a france a french communist um uprising um uh, i can really talk about that um and um, 
see that, you know, hey, yeah, that, that could happen after 1936. I could really see that happening. What I can't see is, like, Germany getting a communist uprising after 1936. Just ain't gonna happen. But this is a cool alternate reality. That part of this, I am not complaining about. I'm not even complaining about some of the wacky world elements that of that I sort of kind of see, which is I know America t too well, and I just don't see this happening in America, even if they are on the losing side in World War One. Europe is a different different situation, but um, so I'm going to put this entire. And I was I was going to ask what what should I do? Should I just try to tough this one out and continue this series with with this hampering me? Colonial consumer goods up fifteen percent with this with what I think are crazy stuff going on down here. Um, and should I just continue to tough this out, or should I start a new series? Well, I'm on, I'm just because of you know this whole state is gone uh, and other things. I'm just really fed up with this series. Again, it's not maybe again you know, it's not the Kaiser Reich story. It's just this situation. And so the, and then then you know take advice on what I should do, uh, or you know sh is it worth starting another series? What I will do is I will start another Kaiser Reich series as Germany. Let's not make this too tough. Too tough. When the first episode gets 300 views and um, a lot of minutes to watch, meaning not just one person reloads a bunch of times or something to try to get um, more views, but I'm not going to put an exact number of minutes watch, but um, when it gets um, 300 views, I will make a second episode. Not going to keep going that way, but it's going to have to be at least a viewership within about within 48 hours of 250 plus viewers. Um, or it just isn't worth me making the episode. Um, so if this is popular and if people want to watch it, I would really like to play one that isn't so effing bugged up. But if, um, and I'm going to just do an experiment after making this and to see if I start and reload and see if it still has some of these damn map problems and, and other, other things. And you go, you may be thinking, well, hey gamer, what are you, you're just having fun playing the game and it, you know, takes you an hour to make an episode. Oh God, no. God, no. Yeah. It takes between various um, various elements. It, it's easily um, my time between uploading, managing, doing everything. Um, you know, for a 30, 40 minute episode, it's easily um, two hours plus more time uh, of my time trying to um, promote um off camera, try to you know worry about um, production stuff that I try to keep just um, maybe not so much for Kaiser right because quite honestly it is like for production it, it, it's simpler and so it may not be quite that but for um, Black Ice and Hearts of Iron 4 or Hearts of Iron 3 it is um, uh, easily easily a lot more time than what you see on the screen now, I have improved my software situation, so it has reduced um, some of that time down. But this is just um, too bugged because I, I, I think this is. I think they've introduced a map change between different versions, and which is causing this, is what I think this is. This wasn't here originally. And um, I think they've changed their national focus tree on me from when I started. Um, to now, so, um, because what I understand, and maybe I'm just ranting about this inappropriately, but, um, 38, literally more than half 
of my economy is going to consumer goods? Really? That's just 30 plus 3. For 33, you know, 3 to trade and... And that's it. And so, um... And here we're getting 22 coming in from trade, which is actually very good. But, um, so that just to me is like, um, incredibly, um, you know, crippling. And I don't see a way of changing that. Um, and if that is... Because, uh, you know, if I were to ditch all of my colonies and just go, oh, you're no longer my colony somehow, um, you know, by um, uh, no longer make, you know, removing puppet status or or whatever um, here. You have control of states. Um, but so... Yeah, I'm I'm incredibly frustrated with this at the moment, uh, as you can tell, and I don't want to be that angry ga gamer. Um, don't mind ranting about things in society; that's a little different, and that's I think sort of constructive. But this is just um, is too much um, to continue with, and so um, because the reason I'm putting that. Um, number of a minimum of 300 views because I'm sure there's going to be hey 30 or 40 of you really nice people that really want to see me play this and are going to watch it and I would you know do I interrupt my Black Eye series a lot for this and the last Kaiser Reich episode shot up and did really well that's why I want to play it and why I think this may go well but if I don't get 300 views very quickly I'm not saying eventually, someday, but get fairly quickly. And I'm not putting an exact deadline on it because that isn't important. Um, you know, but if this is getting a lot of views, I would really like to play a good version of this. This isn't me hating on the concept of Kaiser, right? This is me hating on um, uh, pushed out versions because this is the way. Um, stream works that are not backwards compatible with a safe game that is coming so fast. Now it's like, oh, well, hey, yeah, that was six months ago and it's no longer compatible. That's one thing. But in the few weeks here that it's changed is just um, uh, not acceptable to me. Now they may go well, but now now here's here's the thing is, and this is what um, often, and now this is more an experience that I've had with Black Ice is, is that they'll go along and go, oh okay, yeah we release a version of the game, it's out there, and then oh, you know because you know this can be with whether Black Ice um, for Hearts of Iron three or Hearts of Iron four, you know um, a month later. Or three, two weeks later, or three weeks later, or whatever, they'll go. Oh well, we, yeah, we've identified a couple of real serious bugs that are, you know, um, sort of game breaking. So we have to release a new version of the game. Okay, so you release a new version of the game. But what they do again, this is um, sort of what I think may have happened with Kaiser Reich. Not sure. Again, I'm not watching Kaiser Reich as closely as some of you are, and if anybody shares this with the Kaiser Reich people, I'm sorry if I'm mischaracterizing what you're doing. But what they do is, is oh, okay, here's our in-development version. Well, we've got those bugs fixed, so pfft, throw that out there to you. And so that version has in-development elements of it that may have other bugs that are yet to be identified, as opposed to simply getting a version that just has bug fixes and no new content. That's sort of what I mean is, is yeah, you can release something that has bug fixes, but the bug fixes have unintended consequences. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, oh, well, this great new feature we've added in the you know, last three weeks or two weeks or whatever is now out. Um, and But that adding new features is the 
the sort of element as opposed to just simply a bug fix version and we're working on our other in development um so so if not this version this episode but if next episode has big enough viewing numbers at least 300 fairly quickly with good good watch time so hey if you want to watch it three or four times to make sure it gets there great i would appreciate that but that means you're dedicated but it has to be continuing not necessarily right at 300 but continuing um good views i will continue i will make another kaiser reich um series um if not we'll just stick with black ice um so i'm really and i want to i want to apologize to all of my viewers here i'm really sorry about this i delayed both kaiser reich and um, black ice for a couple of weeks and that really hurt my channel um because there are a lot of you out there that are interested in Hearts of Iron 4 content. And I really appreciate that. Whether it's Kaiserreich or Black Ice or even just maybe straight vanilla, that's the game you want to see played. And um, I want to give you um, a daily dose, or at least, I don't know, five days a week or something minimum of Hearts of Iron 4 content and not be skipping out of that for two or three weeks or something while waiting for another version that's what partially what angers me is so much as i waited for them to release stuff that was supposedly going to be good and they did release it and now it's changed and messed up here again um and i don't I, see i'm not even sure if there aren't others of these out there and i, I know this is poland and this is sort of a glaring thing and i just i don't know there's yes state owner but it's not really there see I can click on other states and get the the more details of it but here no because it's not right um I'm even wondering how this works partial ownership of the states because it's supposed to be on sort of peace settlements or something I think but I don't know how exactly how that ended um So I'm really sorry. I'm really apologizing to you about this because I don't want this to be a um, ongoing series of, hey, the 25th start of Black Ice, another four episodes before we restart the series again. I really, um, and I may have my viewing audience wrong or maybe there's a bigger view viewing audience for other things. And I know this is a rant video, um, but... Um, that you want to see a long series of well a well-developed well-told tale maybe not me telling the tale in um uh storytelling mode but how does a good game of this go from um a reasonable start through to a reasonable conclusion and that could take months um doing the daily episodes um and I'm perfectly willing for failure, especially on something like this. But it's... This is bothering me. This is bothering me. And, um... Well, I don't know what's going on with those convoy things. I'm thinking that may again be this map change. Um, I don't know if I would be getting that if I, um... If I restart it. Those are all just bothering me too much that, um, those are us attacking when, when I'm ground down here from getting supplies from Belgium to Germany and from Austria to Germany, I'm being ground down by that. Um, you know, it just, that, that isn't, um, just bad gameplay that. I do it so I really apologize for another abortive series um, that's not what I think you're here for I think you're here for a good series and I want to thank again all of you viewers all of you commenters I really appreciate all of the the help and yes it's fine that some of your your advice is outdated because I know some of you are giving advice based on 
um, what you know of Kaiser Reich and Hearts of Iron 2, as well as what you may know in, in Hearts of Iron 4. And that's all really good and interesting advice, and I want it. it. It helps me understand what's going on so much better, and it's not your fault. It's this. So um, I will be starting this again. Um, and if there's a big enough audience, but I'm going to have, I'm going to insist that it needs to be pretty big. You may go, oh, hey, gamer, I don't have time to watch it four times a day. That's four hours or something. No, don't. If you, if you're, if you want the series and the series isn't naturally doing well for my channel, there's something you can do about it. You can go to the Kaiserreich forum. It means a whole. I don't know if you know, understand one how much it means to other to other um, potential viewers. And it also, um, if sort of forum etiquette, if I am spamming the standard Kaiserreich forum of, hey, come and look at my thing, that's sort of bad form. But if you, as the viewer, going, hey, well, this is pretty good. I think other people should see it. If you do it, because you you want people, other people to see it, and you don't spam it every day or anything but you put up a few notifications in the kaiser right forum in um in a subreddit somewhere on facebook i don't know on twitter because hey kaiser Reich has a twitter channel did, did you tweet out that this series has been put out there on that so that they know about it or whatever you know wherever if you want to see this series you can help promote the next version of the series um i'm probably not best to promote this thing up too much because i'm pissed about it but um, if you want to see the series continue and it's not getting a bunch of views, there is, th there is things like that that you can do. Um, and, of course, I would greatly appreciate it if you would, if you think it's worth um, watching and it isn't naturally getting enough views. Okay. Again, I'm very sorry. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.